Hi, I'm Park Madden from the Weather Store in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Today we're going to talk about adjusting or calibrating a barometer. With me today, I've got a nice early 20th century, maybe 1930s, aneroid barometer made by Weatherite. This one's a particularly nice one because it has a little thermometer on it, which I always like. So the question I often get is, how do I adjust a barometer? I get people calling me, emailing me, uh, coming into the store. It's a really simple procedure. I often do it for people writing in the store. I say, wait. So the way barometers work is that barometers are essentially a spring uh, opposed by a vacuum. Uh, so as the air pressure changes, that aneroid capsule, sometimes you can look in there, sort of a ribbed uh, disc in there. Um, that there is a vacuum inside and opposing it is a spring because it's a, it's a vacuum and wants to collapse and the spring holds it open. So what results is a, um, uh, so as air pressure changes, as it increases, that, that capsule collapses a little bit or if air pressure lessens, it expands a little bit. So it's easy to calibrate uh, because on the back of every little barometer, and on this one, it's this one right here. It's usually the screw, you see it's got three other mounting screws here. Those are the screws in the back that hold the mechanism inside it. But there's always one that comes through. And what that does is that this screw either adds pressure or takes away pressure from that little capsule that I talked about. Now that capsule going open and close a little bit through gears and levers is what makes the indicating needle move. This one here is your set hand. Uh, that you set it to. So the first thing you want to do is you find out what the air pressure is in your local area. You can get that online. You can um, sometimes uh, maybe use another barometer as well. Sometimes a radio is even uh, say it. But so what you do essentially is that with this one here, like you'll see it's reading about 29 point, uh, about 29.7. If I put a little screwdriver in there, you can see just a little screw goes in there. You turn it, and if I turn it just a little bit, and the trick is you don't want to over tighten it. You can see as I do this, you see I'm adjusting this. I'm just turning it a little bit. So when I twist it to the right, I'm applying a little bit more pressure to it. When I twist it to the left, I'm taking away some pressure. So if the pressure was say 29 and a half, I turn it right about there. Now the other thing you always do with a barometer is that you tap it a couple times like this. You can sometimes see as I, I tap that, sometimes it moves a little bit. And what that does is settles it down. You take the two needles like this, you line them up, and then you check it the next day to see how the barometer is behaving. So essentially that is how you adjust a barometer. I would say, and I do like to caution you, that that little screw that you turn, occasionally people bring these into me, and they've been overturning this, uh, turning it too much. Uh, you can actually damage it. So, and even if you unscrew it too much, that screw will just come right out. Now, fortunately, I can get into these and open these up and repair it, but it's just a little turn. It's maybe just like a half turn or in rare cases, you have to turn it a full. But you'll see as you turn it, it moves. Now, if you turn that screw and it's not moving at all, leave it alone. Don't try and fix it yourself. There's something probably wrong or the barometer is broken. That capsule on the inside has been uh, compromised or it's, uh, it's lost its vacuum. And if it loses its vacuum, it doesn't work anymore. So essentially that's it. So uh, adjust your barometer on your own and enjoy. Thanks for watching.